హవ్వర్ ది డైరెక్షన్లో హవర్ వెటరన్స్ హియర్ ప్రొఫెసర్ జేఎల్ గుప్తా ప్రొఫెసర్ త్రిపాఠి డాక్టర్ రతన్ శర్మజీ లేజ్ ఇన్ జెంట్మెన్ ఐ ఎమ్ ఐ బిన్ సిక్ అండ్ ఇట్స్ హీ హూ మేక్స్ మీ స్టాండ్ ఆన్ మై ఫీట్ యూ కెన్ అండర్స్టాండ్ ది స్ట్రెంగ్త్ దట్ ఈ ఇన్ఫ్యూజ్ ఇస్ అనస్ ఏ సిక్ మ్యాన్ స్టాండింగ్ ఆన్ హిస్ ఫీట్ it is swamiji's vigor his vitality his preachings that runs through my veins and courses through my arteries i cannot forget what he is he stands for me he is my courage my determination my vision and it is he who inspires me moment to moment he takes me from strength to strength he is an embodiment of strength he is the embodiment of vigor vitality courage conviction commitment it is his inspiration that we have carried on for 17 long years an institution which was in a, in the form of a gentle sapling and we had then envisioned that this particular sapling is going to grow into a banyan tree i don't see it as a banyan tree but i do see as a healthy healthy tree giving life giving some inspiration when i about talk about life means we all breathe him we all live and walk with him but it's a billion dollar question how many of us live the precepts which he preached in his life what uh, difficulties encountered how he mustered the courage at a young age to go across the seas and then to find his place in the world religion parliament and then he emerged as a hero and then he exhorts that we are not lambs but we are the lions and we need to roar as time to roar his birthday is reminds us that we are not lambs but lions we need to know our true nature we need to manifest the divinity within let's have muscles of iron nerves of steel inside which dwells the mind of the same material as that of which a th- thunderbolt is made let's be strong let's not be weak let's be masters of what we do let's not behave like slaves dependent on somebody de- despondency somebody looking the other way no no he or she will do the other job somebody else is going to take care of it job is just not to teach it's not just the classroom study it's to shape their character it to make them national assets it is to transform them into living beings as to how do they get transformed into divine human beings who have manifested the divinity within just now you were listening to Sadhguru, and I think what he talked about is all about yourself. The mortality which, has, which he was talking, Swamiji talked to the contrary. He says, you are Amrita Shaputra. You are the children of immortality. But how do we immortalize ourselves? 
we do it by our deeds we do by writing history in whatever discipline you may be but must you write history must you not remain average people must you ignite that spark within that connects you with the ultimate or the infinite energy which is a perennial source of energy which instills in you hope how great a magnificent hindu monk he was he went there he was accommodated in a hotel by night he didn't sleep he was sleepless he saw the affluence and the opulence and the way in the manner the civilization that he was represented and what he saw was that my people live in impoverished in impoverishment they live in poverty and hunger besides that he was saddened to see that most of indians have yet to dispel their ignorance we had a blanket of ignorance we were all engulfed in ignorance india was not awakened india was not awakened it was a, it india was in deep slumber and swami ji couldn't sleep the whole night his entire pillow got soaked in tears when the butler came and wanted to do his bedding what he sa- said what has happened to the pillow swami ji he said i'm sorry i couldn't sleep the whole night no made you comfortable we lodged you in the in one of the best hotels he said no my heart was bleeding for the poor and they have nots that millions of people in my country are li- living in under ignorance terrible ignorance i have member task to go, go back home i delivered a lecture here but my delivering lecture here is not more important than awakening india that they make ring in there so he took service in his hand work and worship hand in hand you pray you worship you offer prayers but remember you have great tasks to accomplish you have great jobs to do you have tremendous responsibilities of shaping this nation into a mighty nation into a most powerful and a vibrant nation a nation whose voice is heard and its citizens can only do it sunit was taking me to a hospital the manner in which the traffic was chaotic everybody was trying to negotiate right left center but they must make it first that's the kind of that's the kind of chaotic india that it stands for even today swami ji's call was to make to awaken india to create responsible citizenship so that each one of us can say i am a proud indian i have done this for my country i have done this for the humanity i have done this for the community i have done this for my neighbor we all seem to be liabilities to one and another on this day let's take a resolve let's try to be assets human assets let's try to make the neighbor feel here is a man who can stand for me in misery and poverty and times of distress when no one is there to look after 
the old age homes will be there, senior citizens home, you may call them, give them any name, children with special needs or call them by any name, but are they leading a life of dignity and honor? And who is going to make them live the life of dignity and honor? It is, the, the, it is your responsibility as teachers. Your job is not just classroom teaching. Your job is to create responsible citizenship to infuse in them sense of patriotism. To tell them you are just not your limited self. You have tremendous potentials. First you need to exploit and manifest your own potentials and then you make your children aware, your students aware. That's what all you can do. We have computer sciences, we have journalism, we have everything, we have nothing but the bookish knowledge, nothing beyond that. It is only possible when you have a touch of the live wire, when you are in touch with the infin infinite power of Swamiji here. The boy who made this portrait, I have made him, uh, I have seen him making the portrait, how dedicatedly, how devotedly, how involved he was in making this portrait for today's function. I congratulate him, thank him. But we have given him the due honor. This will remain in the Vivekananda Hall, befitting the place and the atmosphere here. So I'll request uh, on this National Youth Day, let's have that youthfulness in doing our job. Not in creating an artificial human beings, but to be true to ourselves, to be the true salt of this earth, you need to be worthy of living in this Bharat Varsh, my country, the great country of one, once upon a time. Let's make it feel proud of ourselves as a citizen as educated people, as scholars, as whatever you, you are in, whatever capacity, but go beyond what you are doing now. Then it will be a true tribute to what Swamiji stood for. If you are just doing what the book wants it to say, please you also go beyond the books. There is nothing more in the books. Swamiji said, even a fool can become a hero one day. Fools have become heroes, I know. And how do they manage, manipulate? But that, that's a very short-lived thing. You may come into a claim by doing small, little, you know, manipulations, but that will not last longer. You have to be a lasting performer. Education is the performing art. Perform it. Performing art. Each time you you you, you just evolve. Keep, keep 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 performing. Keep battering upon your last performance. Each time you do better, you find yes, I'm I'm really a very satisfied person. I've done my job well. So on Swamiji's birthday. On his Janam Tithi, I greet you all and I expect in times to come, you will become harbingers of a revolution, edu education revolution. And if you are able to educate people properly, when I say education, education means it's a very prof profound meaning. It's a very profound meaning. Make good human beings, don't make them liability on the nation. Don't make them liability on the society. Don't make them parasites. Let them be self-reliant, self-confident, 
and contributors towards nation building. Thank you very much.